So we're speaking with the famous Tommy Clack. How you doing, sir? Not so sure I'm that famous, but appreciate it. <laughs> so we're here at the the memorial. You want to uh, give us a little rundown? Well, the grounds you're standing on is the Walk of Heroes Veterans War Memorial that exists in North Rockdale County in uh, uh, Black Shoals Park. We're actually on Lake Randy Corner, which is the Rockdale County Reservoir. Uh, starting last Thursday, uh, the 7th, uh, we've had the Vietnam moving wall here through today. We've got a helicopter display, helicopters used in Vietnam, and a through the eyes photographic display. And uh, had about 5,000 people hit through here since Thursday, so it's been a great week and a great opportunity for people to honor the Vietnam generation and also to see the, the Vietnam Memorial. Out there in the center of the field uh, is a display of 1,584 American flags that are put in the ground to honor the 1,584 Georgians who died in the Vietnam War. That was done by the Woodmen of the World who donated that. Uh, so it's been a great community effort on this banner back here behind me are 174 names of businesses, individuals, churches, whatever that have uh, come together and helped support this financially to pull this thing off. This is the uh, entrance here. Uh, this is a, a fountain that we put in and it leads all the way to the arches there with the statues right. that are representative of the five branches of the military in terms of Army, Marines, Navy, Air Force, and Coast Guard. This whole plaza that you're walking on will eventually be covered with plat uh, papers of people who uh, will engrave on, will have engraved on them their military service. So it will help perpetuate uh, their military history and help honor them and show the sacrifice, the fact that freedom is not free, and, and uh, you know make that happen. I think any time that you can honor those who served in their families, that's something that we need to do as Americans to perpetuate the historical fact that it takes a generation of young girls, our sons and daughters, every generation to serve, to protect our freedoms, to defend our liberties. Uh, out on this time band right here are, will, in fact it is uh, right now 1900 to 2000, it's gonna be expanded to encompass this war. But Americans have actually been inserted uh, 287 times around the world since our founding as a nation. So we are the bastion of freedom. People come to us for help. We respond. You know, we help perpetuate, uh, you know, freedom and, and people having the right to vote and choose to do the things they want to do. On that Vietnam Wall, there's 58,400 plus men that lost their lives. So I'm lucky to be alive. Army, the Marines, the Navy, the Air Force, the Coast Guard, and the POWMI issue. We never forget those that, that were served as POWs or MIA and missing in action. You know, we, this country still has over 100,000 Americans missing in action from World War II today. 78,000 of those are out of World War II. So it's an ongoing process of accountability and we owe it to them and their mothers. Uh, back on that wall back there, you can't see it up close yet, but there's a quote up there that is John 15, 13. It says, no greater love hath a man, but he laid down his life for his friend. Just as Jesus did that for us, our military does that for our, our citizens. And uh, need to think about that. I encourage you, if you are watching this, to come to Conyers, North Rockdale, uh, to visit the Walk of Heroes and see what we've got here. I think you'll be truly impressed uh, with the, what we're trying to accomplish out here. It's a long-term process, uh, and we need everybody to be involved and help us achieve this.